And what is this, besides a picture of Lucille Ball? Well, I'm hoping it's a necklace that belonged to Lucille Ball. All right, this is cool. I like this. I mean, who doesn't like Lucy? I mean, I love Lucy. <laughs> I like watching I Love Lucy from the time I was a kid. Brings back a lot of memories. Along with the necklace, I have a picture of her actually wearing it, plus I have a certificate of authenticity. I'm hoping to get some pretty decent cash for this costume jewelry today. Lucy, I'm home. Lucille Ball, I mean, she started in movies in like the 30s, and then early 50s, she started I Love Lucy. It was just an amazing hit. This has been shown in just about every country in the world. I can't imagine how many languages it's been translated into. I can remember watching it in the 50s. In my neighborhood, there were probably only two TVs, one in our house and one down the street. A little before me. Uh, yeah. Not before me. <laughs> oh, shut up. Everyone remembers Lucille Ball from I Love Lucy. But behind the scenes, she was a big Hollywood star with a lot of power. Her and Desi Arnaz not only produced I Love Lucy, but they also produced Star Trek and The Andy Griffith Show. It's sort of bizarre to think that without Lucy, there would be no Trekkies. <laughs> <laughs> Guarantees that the Fa double strand pearl necklace was owned and worn by Lucille Ball. This has got to be like the cheapest certificate of authenticity I've ever seen in my life. I mean, he literally printed this on his computer at home. At least he bought a foil and stuck on the end of it. <laughs> I believe it because there's enough here that tells me it's legit. Now, what do you want to do with it? I'd like to sell it. All right. Now, here's the big question. How much? Yeah, I was thinking maybe 500. Ouch. Um, give me 300 bucks for it. 300 bucks is more than fair. Go 350? I'll give you three and a quarter. I'm not gonna go any more. Well, that was gonna be my next number, so it works for me. Okay, okay. Right.